180,000 people are reported missing every year. There are 340,000 missing incidents each year. One in every 200 children are reported missing every year. One in every 200. That's almost four or five children to a single school. It's been happening. The whole county line since has been happening for so many years. It's just that now it's kind of, it's in the media a lot more and parents are more aware about what's going on. But it's being fueled by popular culture. Whereas 10 years ago, it was happening underneath. Children were going missing. You didn't see them for two or three weeks. They came back, they were traumatized. You drill down into what was going on in their lives. You may find out that they were working in some, uh, somebody's house in Margate for two or three weeks. Now, now that county lines is the thing to talk about, so many more stories are coming out from youth, young people that are still suffering trauma from the experience. So we as parents and carers and professionals, we have to work out how are we gonna get through to these children? So when somebody like that comes in, at the time that was made, it wasn't even really the culture to talk about it. Now, <laughs> you have no idea. You go into some gangs and they are organizing to find young people to sell the drugs for them. Actively looking for young people. And that's what really worries me. It's now become, our young people have now become business, they've now become game. And I'm not quite sure why the government are not tying all these things together, these county lines, even the knife crime that's happening on the streets. You have to ask yourself, what happens when a young person realizes he's in debt through grooming and chooses not to have that life anymore? Are they now targets? Understand it. If a young person owes 10,000 pounds and he says, I'm not paying it, and he hasn't told his parents, he may well be one of those victims. So uh, children as young as 11 years old have been groomed and taken from their friends and families because they have run up significant debts. My whole point as a groomer is to get you in debt. That's all I wanna do. So I will become your best friend. And when I say best friend, I will give you more advice than your parents. I'll give you more support than your parents. I'll allow you to do the things your parents won't allow you to do. All because I'm doing this. Yeah? So the grooming process can take as little as a few days to take hold on an individual. It's a, in fact, it's the same length of time as it takes to build a relationship. Once the debt has been established, the groomer will often become violent and abusive. They will often approach or threaten other members of your family. Heroin, many young people that are groomed will also be subjected to sexual abuse. There is a massive cohort of young girls now who have been groomed specifically to be shared amongst other gangs. So one of the things that groomers are looking for is, okay, these boys can sell the drugs for us. And some of the boys are even put through sexual abuse as well. To keep, it keeps you in there. You know, you all understand you're all adults. You understand re abusive relationships are the hardest things to get out of. Whereas they should be the easiest thing, right? So he, he hits you. So why have you been there for eight years? Because you just can't leave. So once that relationship's established, it becomes very difficult. Uh, so when young people go missing, they're sometimes kept against their will in alternative parts of the countries and made to work in drug houses. So the signs of grooming is relationship conditions, mental abuse. You know, if, I know, if, I, if, I, if I'm trying to groom somebody that's got, you know, mental health issues, I'm going to play on that. I'm going to play on that. Yeah. Physical abuse, guilt building. You know, I, I did this for you. You know, one of the things that uh, children suffer a lot with is in terms of friendships and relationships is like they, and I, we were talking about this in class, is that you have to notice when your children start changing the dynamics of their friends. So you'll get a friend who says, okay, so you're getting bullied. I'll tell you what we can do for you. We'll stop that. But there's a condition. But you, don't, you won't know about the condition until I want something from you. So now you're, you were vulnerable, now you're protected, now you're gonna be vulnerable again. Joining the dots together, because it's a bigger picture and we're only looking at a snapshot.